SureDog.com here with Marlos Kunin, just ahead of your title fight. It's, it's been a long journey for you. What's it feel like to finally be one day away? I'm really excited and also I'm really ready for this. And we were supposed, I think it was last August we were supposed to fight and then she had a back, uh, back injury and then well, I fought Alexis Dufresne. Something happened. We're not discussing that today, but uh, I learned a lot from that. And then I was supposed to fight Talita Nogueira, and then I had the second fight in a row that didn't make weight. So it was a big bummer. My mom, my dad, my brother had flown out from Europe to, to, to watch me fight. And uh, then the fight was cancelled, so whew. Then I wanted to fight Julia in January because we had both been through good camp and uh, I was like, well, we're both ready to fight. Then she didn't want to fight. I had to wait till March. So, you know, a lot of things happened and I'm really, really ready to fight, to step into that cage, to be crowned the first female 145 uh, LBS champion of Bellator. Julia Budd is a very physical fighter. She's going to try to go out there and try to neutralize every position. Style-wise, is, is this a bad matchup for you? I don't like to think in bad matchups. I want to be a dominant fighter, and if you're a dominant fighter, and if you're a true world champion, you fight anyway who comes here or your, crosses your path. So, and I see myself as a well-rounded fighter. I can do the stand-up, I can do the grappling, I can, I can do the groundwork, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Um, the thing I see is that she, I want to finish fights. And again, to be a dominant fighter, you can you, you don't want to go to the scorecards because then there will always be the discussion like, yeah, that judge didn't see it right, you know. I don't want to have that discussion. I want to win on a KO or on a submission and whatever she brings to the table is fine. I will take my risks. She's not a risk taker. I will do and I will finish. Do you feel that you can keep this fight on the feet? Is that where you want to keep it? Are you content going to your back against her? Yeah, if you look at my record, you know I'm content on my back, <laughs> so I don't care. Uh, but I always want to win on a knockout, and uh, it would be really wonderful if I could do that now, tomorrow. Talk about what this fight means for you. We're, we're in Thackerville, Oklahoma, far from your home, but uh, I overheard you having a conversation earlier. This is the first time your brothers come to see you fight live. Your parents have come, made the journey all the way out here. What is that? Is that additional pressure? Is that, is, is that more of a comfort for you to have them here in the building? No, tomorrow I'm a psychopath. It doesn't matter who's in there. It doesn't matter. I will not see here or do anything until I have the belt around my uh, waist. But like, it means a lot to me. And also, like, my mom and dad never understood me. I'm doing this for such a long time. And they wanted me to go to university and stuff like that. And they asked me so many times to quit. And uh, my mother, my mom has been telling people for years the one time, like, oh yeah, Marlou, she's a judo fighter. And then the next time, no, she's doing karate. And then, no, she's a kickbox, you know. They don't understand this world at all. They don't understand the sport. So I wanted to see me on a big stage and know why I wanted to keep doing this for so many years. That the reason why I just couldn't stop because it was a passion in my heart. And I wanted to feel that. And for my brother Rob, he lives in, um, in London. I don't see him that often. And he has been a really um, big example for me when I was a little girl. He has been the best brother to me always. Very kind, very sweet. And actually he was the one who introduced me uh, to my first uh, karate class. So I'm very grateful to him and I'm, I'm really I'm happy that he will see me once uh, fighting in, in, in the cage in real life. Does Friday night feel like full circle for you? You've had a long career. I, I'm not intimating that you're near retirement, but, <laughs> but that is something... I'm old, that, <laughs> I don't, don't worry, I'm old, I'm 35, so yes, I'm old. But that is something, you, you're at the point now in your career that you start thinking about that. Like, I mean, have you had serious thought, like, how many more fights do you have in you? <clears throat> if you go out there Friday night and it doesn't go your way and you don't win that title, what does that mean for you? What, what, have you made any of these decisions mentally for yourself? No, this one, you know, I was 19 when I won my first title in, uh, in Japan, Tokyo. And then my whole life changed. Uh, you know, I had planned this, this route like what everybody does. You know, you go to university, you go have an office job and so on. And all of a sudden I was this world champion as a teenager. And I was like, I'm going to make a lot of money in Japan. Well, that didn't play out. And I went to school back again or whatever. But um, 
I had tasted a little bit of it, so I was addicted. And then I became, uh, I think, when I was 29 or 30, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, in Strike Force, I became a champion again, and I was like, wow. And I wanted to quit when I was 30, and I'm on 35, and I still haven't quit because I'm, I'm hunting for the title. Because if you have a title, nobody can tell you, like, yeah, you lost from that person, or you're not that good. There's no discussion. You're a world class fighter, and that's what I want to prove, and that's why I want to have that belt of belt. Chasing that title has been such a big motivator for you that if you actually get that title, does that some of that disappear? Is defending a title as much of a motivation as winning a title? No, winning is, I will be really honest, winning is more important than defending to me. Yeah. Because I don't have a belt right now. <laughs> so it's really dumb, but. Does the fight tomorrow night make it no, to the no, final? No, 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 no. No. If it makes it to the final belt, I feel like I've lost. I don't want to go. No, never. It's, it doesn't matter if it's a, a title fight or not. Every time when I step into a cage, I want to win. And I don't want to win on points because I want to be a dominant fighter.